Hello, Wastelanders. Put myself front and center here. Okay, today is more of what we were doing yesterday, basically. Uh, this is Glory to Sim Settlements, playing through Sim Settlements Chapter 2, seeing how far we can get. There is so much to do here that uh, it just gives me a, an opportunity to jump on and you know, dive in with everybody day after day. It's kind of crazy. And on my mission to get some settlements to played through, I'm realizing the epic and uncontainably ambitious scope of this mod. Gadozen, good afternoon to you too. Thanks for joining. So, uh, let's see. There we go. Let's see where we are here. If I recall, um, I was goofing around in the Automatron uh, DLC a little bit so that I wouldn't get too far into the Sim Settlement stuff without uh, having some people along for the ride. But I gotta say, Sim Settlements Chapter 2 is so, so big. I think what we're gonna have to jump into today, though, is the really pretty large side quest of the um, Nightingales. Hey, Fallout Boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have the ultimate formula. Putting Warhammer miniatures together and wine and listening to a stream. Very nice, very nice. I mean, it's not exactly ASMR, but it sounds pretty chill. That is not just water today, because I'm... I feel like having a chill time myself. This loading screen's taking us a minute, but I promise, once we're loaded, we will get over to the Nightingales and we will get this action kickstarted because if you know uh, if you know Sim Settlements 2, you know the Nightingale side quest is really big. I only got partway into it. Um, that's the furthest I've been, but I, I could tell the scope of it was large. And Gadozen, I freaking love Sim Settlements 2. It is it is so wildly cool to have so much effort put into this mod for us. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured, why not? I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Nice. Any place you want me to pitch in? Uh Yes. Yeah. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, I can just point her at something, huh? Well, I honestly don't remember what uh, Sanctuary needs. Let's just... Uh, sure, we'll assign her to that. Why not? Okay, so this is Hancock. I got my full affinity with Deacon, and then uh, so I picked up Hancock as a companion, which I hardly ever do. And I dressed him up as basically a raider, covered up that ugly mug of his with this uh, reaver mask, and uh, this way he can follow me around and go wherever he wants, and nobody nobody knows for sure he's a ghoul, I guess. I, that's Sure, that's the headcanon for that one. But yeah, we're going to try to get uh, Hancock's affinity all full up. It's kind of neat to hear his comments because I so seldom have him as a companion. Okay. Are we ready? We're going to go to Diamond City and we're going to, f uh, you know, start talking to the Nightingales. Their HQ is basically right there. Oh, Kingath did something for Skyrim too? See, I feel like I had to make a choice. I felt like I had to pick either Fallout or Skyrim. I don't have enough, like, years of my life to devote to both. <laughs> You know, because uh, when I get obsessed, I get I get all the way obsessed. So you know, uh, I went I went the Fallout route. It's that retro futurism that really really gets me. But let's go find the Nightingales. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Kadosan. Thanks for understanding. You know. We'll be right out here. Just just one one loading screen. Have to have some patience, right? It's just going to be two loading screens because 
once we're heading out the front gate, all we have to do is go here. Yeah. And the Nightingales are this kind of crazy group of, I guess you'd call them um, just sort of selfless uh, doctors that wander the wasteland, just, just trying to help people. I mean, it's altruistic. Um, yes. They wear those crazy crow bill doctor's masks like the, the plague era doctors did. So that keeps them looking pretty distinct as a faction, which I guess you'd call them that. I guess you'd call them a faction. We're about to meet some of their NPCs now for the first time. And this is what I didn't want to do without anybody because this gets pretty big. I know you, I think. Are you the brave soul building up towns with those pre-war gadgets? Well, hey, Sam's right. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's me. That's exciting. I've been hoping to meet you. And here you are, wandering right into our humble... Um, let's just go with camp. Let's this do that. This makes for a shit hospital. Though we've certainly had enough patients to fill a proper one by now. I'm Fiona. I represent the Nightingales. We're a small group of doctors, though I suppose that word might mean something different to you than to us. I good writing, good voice ever, acting. But you might have come across one of our medical supply... I appreciate this so much. I hope this isn't presumptuous, but after everything we've heard about you, we would like to help you. Turn that up a little. What are you offering exactly? I'm sure you have people capable of treating wounds and rads, or at least a supply of chems that do the job. We, however, know more about contemporary diseases than anyone else in the Commonwealth. And trust me, they've mutated quite a bit since the bombs. And obviously, there's the basics that even medics forget about when trying to build a healthy community. I hear a lot about your ASAMs, but has anyone thought to build a cemetery with them yet? No. And I don't mean the shallow grave variety that's in style. Okay. I get it. Sounds like an important step. So you're already aware of how important safe corpse disposal is, especially during disease outbreaks. I'm glad to hear that. Me too. Nothing is ever that easy. What's the catch? I wouldn't call it a catch because, honestly, if I could give you our help without any conditions or transactions, I wouldn't hesitate. Right now, enthusiasm aside, we're limited in how much help we can offer. We're a small group in a dangerous world, and we often work for free. So, the catch here is that we can help you in the long run, but it will take a bit of work first. And investment i suppose pretty standard so i'm hoping you'll still agree and i'm also hoping you won't mind starting the partnership with oh my the gosh i just remembered this crazy mission shouldn't be a problem just tell me where they are i wanted to be able to bring a better offer to the table so i took a this is such a crazy mission i just remembered it oh wow he came through but well, he dug up some pre-war records about a shipment of medical equipment that was meant to arrive in port right before the bombs. The ship got delayed, or stopped, or something, but it never made it to port. But the Ron went and even located the wreck for me from rumors. Point is, Raphael, one of our guards, went to check it out and see if anything can be recovered. He hasn't been back, and we're worried. Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Special? I, I guess nothing in the way that you mean. He's my friend, but I'd ask you. Sorry, to was that loud in the mic? He was a stranger. Probably. Hmm. Do I have a choice? Of course. We won't deny you aid, regardless of your decision to walk away. But it is my condition for a closer partnership, non-negotiable. I already like this Fiona person. I'll find him. You have my word. There's the breath I've been holding. I'm glad your reputation holds up. I wasn't sure how much I could rely on rumor. I'll put the location okay. on the map. It's underwater, but speak to Ellis before you go. He has something to help with that. And of course, you're welcome to make yourself at home here. You know, if I find one of these Nightingale outfits that I can put Curie in, I might do it. I, this whole medic theme works for her, so... Uh, let's ask about Raphael. So Tell me about him. Raphael is one of our bodyguards. Our guards are all volunteers, usually people we've helped or just good Samaritans helping support our way. If people are willing to abide by our rules and don't cause trouble, we don't turn away or deny aid. Even if some of them grumble about it. 
I'm guessing Let's push this a little. All you wanted to say. When we treat people, we don't care about what our patients have I'd done. Love a charisma build. What they will do in the future. All that matters is helping. Some of our volunteers have had a hard time with that. Forgiving grudges, seeing past prejudice, giving help unconditionally. Since Raphael joined, a lot of our other volunteers left, and the rest aren't likely to risk their lives for him. But he's my friend, and he went to that ship looking for something on my request. I just really hope you find him alive. You know, they stay pretty cryptic here. It makes you wonder, is Raphael like a ghoul, a super mutant? Like, what's, what's his deal? They, it's not the direction they go with it, but it's kind of a cool element. Okay, uh, I think that's enough now. chat for Thanks. now. Yeah, we want to get into the missions, right? Not looking worse for the wear. Here, I have the cams all ready. Okay. So now we get our cemetery. Hey, is uh, is the volume loud enough on the game itself? Somebody told me in the feedback on another video that the game was a little quiet compared to me. So let me know if that's still true. What are you talking about? I... You're the one going after Raphael, right? Which means you'll have to go underwater after him. Thanks, Kadozen. These can't help with that. Don't ask how. I mean, you can ask, but it, it's nothing I could explain, honestly. It just works. <laughs> I hope. Hey, there's the, uh... <laughs> there's the Todd Howard quote. It just works. <laughs> nice. Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, sorry. I thought you just wanted... You know, grab and go. Mercenary types tend to have no patience for the details. Not that I'm implying that you're a mercenary type. I just went with the safest option, but now I realize it probably came off as rude instead. Wow, they are overthinking this. Said hello or introduce myself. Sorry, I'm Ellis. Is Cam's all you got? Well, yes. Cassandra figured out ways to make a lot of our chems so we don't have to buy them from traders, and she's been teaching me. I probably shouldn't be handing them out without Fiona's say so, but here, in case you or Raphael get into trouble, these should help. Cassandra, kind of a witchy name, huh? I'll take some. Oh, right. Here you go. And here's some extra, you know, for Raphael, in case he ran out and got stuck in the boat. Ship, I mean. Oh, good question, Fallout Boy. I'm trying to keep these a little shorter. They've been going like almost four hours sometimes. Uh, I, I would love to see if this thing can be like an hour, hour and a half. Um, that would be nice for me because I'm trying to edit another video for the channel uh, right now. And I'm not making very good progress because I devote so much of my day to the streams. <laughs> you know, it's, it's tough to balance it. So I thought if today's could be a little shorter... Um, you know, maybe we jump off in a, in another hour or so, uh, if possible, we'll kind of see where things are at, but that would be good. So does that help answer your question on this one, Fallout Boy? I hope so. What do you know about him? About Raphael? Hey, I'm not Zihu. He's tough. It's why Wait. Fiona trusted him with this. He probably How would I say that? Delayed or stuck Z1 who won? I like it. I just... I'm not sure how to say it. Looks good when I read it, though. Let's see what you've got. Always happy to help. Okay, what do these people sell? Hmm, kind of a surprising amount of stuff. What do I need to unload? Uh, I don't need all these frag grenades. I don't need this minigun. He can't really buy it, though. Mm -hmm. We picked up the first strike this legendary um m2045 i think it's called which is kind of cool we'll just sell that time bomb i never did use it but hey don't need the combat armor Ooh, wow we already we already blew right past his budget okay well we'll buy some ammo uh maybe yeah sure we'll buy some disease cures haven't really been needing those lately, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, he still can't buy that. Hm. Fine. Um... 
Hey, Hajro. How you doing? We are talking to the Nightingales here in Sim Settlements. We gotta go get Raphael. Zuzia. Oh, okay. Zuzia? Well, I mean, if it's cool if I call you that, then that's what I'll do. Head on inside. Oh, well, Hajro, um, we're just jumping into the Nightingale's side quest, which is a massive one. Uh, and I don't think you can move forward in Chapter 2 without doing it, because it essentially introduces the science department to the HQ. So, and by the way, uh... I don't know if I've really figured the HQ thing out, but I went in and fiddled with some of the settings until I basically turned all the purchase costs off for a bunch of things, and now my workshop doesn't even show any, um, it shows like zero resources in every category, but if, but it, everything's set on automatic and the HQ seems to kind of be working its way through the jobs on its own, so I, I think we fixed it. The quests just keep popping up and proceeding, so, Let's you know. Let's see what you've got. Alright, we gotta unload some weight. We are... We're running a little heavy right now. I don't even know where I picked up this minigun, but, uh... We gotta drop that. Uh, let's see, what else? I think we're okay. Oh, maybe some junk. Oh, wow, he's... He is a little loaded down, too. Let's just buy some ammo. <laughs> okay, Z1. You got it. You got it. Z1. That's what it'll be. Why am I buying an overdue book? They weigh too much. Why why am I doing that? Let's just stick with ammo, right? Um I buy 50 cal whenever I can. I haven't really been using it very much lately. Ooh, two two millimeter, that'll do it. Okay, cool. Let's get going. Sunken treasure. Ooh, he's way off there. I guess we could leave from either the castle or Fort Strong. Uh, I guess we'll go to the castle. That makes more sense to me. <laughs> right? You know, if I build an automatron companion, which I probably will end up doing at some point, this this playthrough is probably going to be kind of a big one. Um, I will name it Z1. That sounds cool to me. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, we have to go find this shipwreck out here somewhere. I guess that's probably our quest marker for it. All right. Time to drink some, you know, Rad X. Yeah? <laughs> well, I mean, not yet, Z1. I, I, you know, you haven't stolen all my thunder just yet. I'd have to build the... I've got to build the companion, but right now it's Hancock, you know. But yeah, if I build an automatron companion, Z1. Sounds good to me. Let's see, Rad X. I like that. And then I guess we'll just swim out, and then when we need to submerge, we'll either use the meds that uh, the Nightingales gave us, or we will use a Meyer Alert cake, whichever one, whichever one seems better. Okay, here we go. Swimming and swimming, right? Yeah, Z1 is... I mean, think about, like... One of the synths in the Institute is Z114? Is that what his name is? Z114? Something like that, right? So there's a... There's a synth Z1. Oh boy, this is out here a ways, I guess. 
I have to be following the right quest marker, though. Nothing else would be pointing us straight out into the ocean like this, right? Holy moly, this has taken a while. Right? Hey, Z114 is awesome. I like that NPC. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of pathos there. I really feel like he's a sympathetic character. Pretty solid guy. Wow, okay, we're going. We are swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming. You know, the Nightingales... Some quests are easy to buy into a faction. You know, the Nightingales buy-in is a little steep. <laughs> Hey, NCR Ranger Goodman. I love you too. Hun, you're here too? Well, I guess it is spring break, right? So you can you can be wherever you want to be right now. Nice to have you both. Okay, so we got to take something to help us breathe underwater. What did the Nightingales give us? I'm not sure I see it. It's, it's here somewhere, of course. Uh... I think I have a Meyer Alert cake on me if I need to. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Where? Did they give me any meds for this? Hang on. I do have a Meyer Alert cake, so... Push comes to shove, we can use that. But what did the... What did the Nightingales give us? Not really into the railroad. Z1. The railroad has grown on me. I mean, maybe it's because I get bored with the Brotherhood pretty quick. But the railroad ha road has grown on me. I don't see these... I don't see these chems they supposedly gave me, these nightingales. I just don't see them. Wow, apparently I've got to, like, resort to my own thing here. Well, hey there, Hancock. You look terrifying. Let's let's go, buddy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Love this whole sunken ship thing. Isn't this cool? Isn't this cool? That's a rhetorical question, because yes, this is obviously cool. Oh, with a headache. Well, hon, I appreciate your. Your devotion to this to the stream. Thank you, sir. All right, rat away. Do your thing. Whew, I don't know. I got I've got so many aid items. Honestly, I've got I'm carrying too much aid weight, but that's all right. Uh, can it? Anyone say Meyer Lurk Queen? And no, I, I don't know which way I'm going. <laughs> oh boy. Mm hmm. Eleonora style? That's a pretty good style. Okay. You know, I have to admit, Ranger Goodman, Maria has become kind of my, like, go-to. When I'm not sure what a situation's gonna require, I just, I just pull out Maria. I do not remember exactly what we're dealing with here. Who are you shooting at? Oh my gosh, well... What I do remember is Meyer Lurks are a thing here. That that I do remember. EMP detected. Catastrophic damage to main reactor. Engine and rudder non-responsive. I feel like we're gonna be hearing this PA announcement a lot for for a while, right? Alright, we got a lot of rads going on here. Well, hun, this is a 
The Nightingales are a side quest in Sim Settlements 2, and they have sent us to this sunken ship because one of their people went here to find medical supplies and hasn't come back. So that's what's up. That is what's happening. Okay. I'm not certain where I'm supposed to go, though. Oh boy, Meyerlurk Central, right? I mean, if that's not a Meyerlurk, I'll be surprised. Oh! rut -row. Oh, I'm about to get my butt handed to me, aren't I? Woof! Did you do that, Hancock? <laughs> well done, buddy. I gave him the gambler. It seemed like his kind of weapon. I kind of... I realized I almost wasted it on other people because Hancock seems like exactly the kind of guy who'd have a fun time with a weapon that did random things every time. Uh, what is this? A plasma pistol? Fusion core? So this is like the first officer? How interesting. We can take the submariner hat and uniform. Cool, actually. Dude. Where is this little jerk? There he is. But I can't hit him? Oh. Okay. What about like now? Nope, still can't hit him. Ow. That did it. Wait, where are you, Hancock? <laughs> we lost him. I feel like... Oh, there he is. Okay, wow. I was, it felt like that Star Wars scene where the weird creature pulls them under the water in the trash compactor. You know what I mean? Okay, I am not sure what I was supposed to be doing here, but I bet... I bet I already did it, right? General Ward's car? Oh, right. When you go to his house in America Rising 2 to find, what is it, Vanessa? Is that his daughter's name? Right. I did not pay attention to his car, which is unusual for me. I usually pay attention to cars. Huh. Cool. I, I intentionally planned it that way. I figured Hancock would like to look creepy as shit. He's going to go out into the world. I'm going to just let him look the way I, I think he must want to look. Okay. This whole place feels like it's coming apart. Okay. I mean, this looks promising. Oh, oh, okay. How... How am I not one-shotting these laser turrets, you know? Named it Megatron? Nice. Why not? I like it. Okay. Time to collect. I can use 10 millimeter rounds. For sure. So now I have to get around to the other side of this thing, I guess. But how? Is this the ship coming apart? Or is this... Am I hearing like a Meyerlurk Queen? Or is the ship just... 
being crushed by the depths here. What, what's going on, right? <laughs> well, Z1, I'll have to take a look. I don't remember it well enough. But, uh, I did a whole thing on the cars of Fallout 4, Z1. If you haven't seen that episode of mine, I, I did a video on the cars that I really, really liked. I really liked doing that video. Okay, so I can shoot these through the grate. That's nice. Where are you going in such a hurry? Why do I feel like this guy knows how to get up here? Huh. Right. Hello. One more. Yeah, keep shooting him, Hancock. I like the random effect happening on this. Hmm. Maybe I want something else. There you go, buddy. That'll do it. Sometimes pistols just aren't enough. Hey, Surge. Nice to have you. Oh, the monster? Here. I can turn it down on my computer. I don't know if that turns it down for you guys. Okay, just... Where are we supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. It's it's hard to tell, right? Um, I guess we'll go up the stairs this time. Okay, here's a new bulkhead. Hey, I think we're in luck. This is Raphael. I lost a bet. I owe that dead robot a can of oil now. I figured for you and I'd wait at least a week before sending. I hope you do watch it, Z1, because so, you the cavalry. I made it for car people as a car better. person. I think she was having a big laugh at my expense right about now. And after I made a friend too. Uh. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. Much as I hate to get between you and your bay for a job well done. I'm not leaving just yet. Didn't come here just for sightseeing. Of course. I ran into a bit of a problem. This is good at voice acting, too. Thought I'd swim through a big hole in the side. Take out a couple of my lurks. Be on my way. You any good with this techie stuff? So I'll give her to me. Pressing buttons just made it worse. Gibber. Gibber, right? Like as in gibberish? What's he mean gibber? <laughs> that right. shouldn't be a problem. Be my guest. If you need anything from Rusty, let me know. We got a report going. <laughs> right, little trail of bread breadcrumbs kind of stuff, huh, Hajro? That's not a terrible idea. That sounds like a doable mod to me. Look at this. Huh, just a 9mm just sitting there. And a Nuka Cola orange. I will pick that up. This area clear. Proceed. Oh, we have the first officer ID, and that helps us get this thing open. Okay. That's a sound. Come on. Let's see what all the security is for. Approach and What do we what do we have here? How lootable is all this? Let's play the security log. Right? Let's find out what happened. Hey Dom. Oh, it's a recorded transcript. All right. So I remember this a little bit. It talks about how Vault Tech is on board the ship. You can find a bunch of terminal entries and stuff about Vault Tech being here with some kind of shady technology. The it's all cryo based. Main reactor has been lost. Prioritize repairs to water pump systems. 
how the uh, shipping company needed the money, so they allowed Vault Tech on board with no real questions asked. Where are these protectrons? You know? There they are. You know, sometimes you don't want the answer to your question, right? Oh boy, here he comes. Let's just crit him. There we go. Interesting that Raphael's dialogue talks about these Protecton Guardians as zombie white cells. So he's picked up some medical terminology from the Nightingales. That's kind of neat. Protector is kind of tough. Oh boy. Who wants to join the NCR? I mean, I'm I'm mildly interested. I got a few other allegiances going on here, but I'll join. Of course, I'm not in California. So that, <clears throat> you know, that hurts me a little bit. As a candidate, right? Oh! Hello. No. Go for the head. Always go for the head with a Mire Lurk, right? Ooh, that did some damage. That was some slow-mo. Technical documents left and right here. All right. Hey, so far so good, right? Bosnia? Hajro, I didn't know you were from Bosnia. Have you said that on the chat before? I missed it. Glad to have you, though. Wherever, you know. Insufficient power from auxiliary systems. All watertight doors non-responsive. Yeah, I Destiny caught that. Ooh, okay. Hey, nice. What is this noise? Oh, that's what the noise is. There we go. I don't know how much Mirelurk meat I really need. How come these eggs explode when I try to take them? What's up with that? It's <laughs> a classic lethal weapon quote right there. What? Bottle cap? Okay, I'll take it. Alright. Moving on. That sounds like a Mire Alert Queen, right? Well, this isn't Chapter 3 yet, Dom. This is Chapter 2. Hold up a second. I oh. think this might be something. Where are you, dude? Where is he? Where'd he go? He, like, got around me and I didn't even see it. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Looks like books. Still intact. Huh. Path, path, doll, pathology. Damn. Nearly strained something on that one. <laughs> Hajro, I don't know if I want to meet your dad getting ready for work then. Uh. Why don't you tell me what's so interesting about this? Don't know. Oh, why do they make the words so tiny? My eyes are swimming just looking at them. I know the word pathology, though. It's what Cassandra does, or studies, or whatever. Maybe these are textbooks or journals or something. Crates look heavy. 
Might be sealed well enough to survive the swim back, though. If it doesn't take me to the bottom with it. What do you figure? No problem. I'd be glad to help. Guess hauling shit out of holes in the ground's nothing new to you, huh? All right. Suit yourself. This Raphael guy, I like him. He's kind of a complicated character. You know? One of these morally gray characters. Well, uh, oh, right. I'll, I guess I'll take the book crate. Ta-da. Are you coming, dude? Hey. I mean, I guess, I guess so. I guess he's coming now. He's all done. All right, here we go. Uh, what weapon do we want to use? We have mail, but I don't know if it's nighttime. <laughs> we could use our, you know, cranky. More than shit. Crank and What's prey. What's the point of having more than one locked door? Are these ships meant to double as forts or something? Well, guys, uh, if oh, requires a key. Oh no! What key? Seriously? Oh, that key. That was nice of them to label it. Well, guys, I've never actually made money on YouTube yet, but I, I come so close. Like every month, I get enough views to almost earn the money. You know, almost earn money. But they only pay you once you've earned a certain amount. If you earn the below that, they don't pay you at all. So it's like it's such a tease. Okay. I gotta admit, this constant shaking and noise and stuff is kind of terrifying. I really feel like we're headed for some kind of massive boss battle. Right? Doesn't it feel like that? Or it's the ship coming apart. I'm not gonna lie. I was kinda hoping we'd find nothing. Why? Yeah? Why is that? Fiona and Cassandra have been arguing about the ship for weeks. Fiona going on about battle. Oh yeah, Z1, she's the railroad NPC. Covering research. I just uh thought this was I don't know. Time. I like having Fiona some kind of a role play to do, so I decided to have solution to Glory problems. lead the Minutemen this time. Is, that's the short answer. Plus, I'm, I'm a little obsessed with her. You know? Hmm. What do you think? I don't get paid to think, but I doubt you give a shit about my opinion anyway. Mayor always, huh? Okay. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Yeah, yeah. You're not the one who has to lug this thing out of here. What's with the cold? I might freeze my fingers off on it. Don't even know what this junk's supposed to be. There's a terminal over there. Probably has everything you need to know. Uh, OZ1, I went deep in the Enclave stuff, too. Shit. Real deep. I AR2 came out, and I could not get enough. They're still pretty this awesome. Captain Alice. All hands but I haven't played an Enclave character in a minute. We are breaking procedure. Do not head towards Boston. I repeat, do not head to Boston. Wow. We are redirecting lifeboats north until fuel runs out. Uh, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh. I mean, I like I like the loot. That's cool. Vault Tech's little cryo lab here. What are we talking here? Sealed cred. Okay. Okay. So operational. Yes, yes, that's great. Uh, what do I? Okay, I talked to Raphael some more. Alright. Worth hauling it back? Or are we just gonna pretend this room is empty? I mean we haul it back, duh. Sounds like just what we need right now. If you say so. Let's hope this is worth the frostbite. Huh. Cool. Okay, All cool, right, Z1. Outside. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for the likes, guys. It does, you know, it does help push me in front of more people. 
Now, I was telling Fallout Boy earlier that I'm going to try not to make this stream so long because I'm really trying to finish editing the Western uh, video. And it is slow going when I spend so much time on stream. So I'm going to try to get, you know, get out of here a little earlier. Maybe, you know, maybe like another half hour. We'll see where we are, though, because... This is a pretty epic quest. Does this get us all the way out of the boat? Or just to the part of the boat? Because if I'm underwater again, I don't have an awesome way to breathe. Truth be told. Okay. Phew. Uh, where's the castle? There's the castle. We'll head there. I can't fast travel from here, can I? That would be nice. Hold up. Return to Fiona. I mean, show me on the map. I'll, I'll fast travel. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, the Western vid, I'm, you know, I'm maybe halfway into editing it right now. And, uh, well, I just want to make more progress. So, yeah. Yeah, I have to catch up on Starfield too, Dom. I like it when he plays with his knife. This is part of why I had to look him, make him look pretty mean, you know? Oh, see you later, hun. Thanks for joining the stream. I think it's kind of funny to be like, hey, hun. <laughs> if you were watching without the comments, you'd wonder who, why I was calling a viewer that. <laughs> I think. All right, here we go. Moving this Nightingale thing forward. I like it. Joking, Fee. This is what we do. You know that better than anyone. You hear gunshots every minute in this hellhole. Doesn't mean you gotta chase down each bullet. It's probably just super mutants. Oh, Raphael. So, so worried about all your Nightingale buddies. Hospital, and there was laser weapon fire. Gunners. Even better. Come on, Fiona. Just let one go for a change. Don't you have enough sick folks here? Oh, there you are. I'm glad to see you safe and sound. I'm yes, see one. Too. Here, Very I'm true. On payment, but I'd like to give you what I can. Hancock's story is wild. Do I ask for more caps? Why not? Come on. My time's worth more than that. Well, you didn't have to help us. All right. Here's some extra chems. But I really can't give more than that right now. Streams choppy? I wish I had time to stick uh, happened, but there's yeah. an emergency. Gunshots downtown. That's what OBS is telling me too. It's a but I don't know why. Raphael! Bleeding fucking hearts. All of you. Fine. I'll go on ahead. And make sure it's not some asshole. Oh, we should be back, right? Practice. I see that we're it's back up to the We're, we're back up to a better streaming speed. If you'd like to see what we yeah. see in the field, I don't know what makes it drop. I mean there. there's only one other person in the house with me right now, so it's not like everybody's on a screen. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Keep moving. Hospital. What exactly is this place? Mass Bay Medical Center, I think it was called pre-war. Mass Bay. We're going to go clean out some gunners. I like it. It's all right for the moment. I think it was held by gunners last, but we've never had them shoot at us before. I'll meet you there. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Mass Bay. Gunfires died down already. Thanks again for getting Raphael back. I'm sure he'll fill us in on what happened soon. Ghost Hunter. Good to see you. Well, something for later. Welcome to the stream. Not looking worse for the wear. Cersei. Okay, so so Cassandra and Cersei, those are both like Greek names of witches or, you know, minor deities, uh like, you know, sea nymphs. But um if you've ever read The Odyssey, that's where you'll find those characters. They trapped Odysseus, as <laughs> kept him as their 
sex slave, basically, I guess, uh, you know, because Odysseus's adventure had to be full of him being just so, so desirable. But um, yeah, so they are making the Nightingale sound kind of like, you know, a little witchy, which I think is makes sense because they're here in the Commonwealth, you know, crafting things that other people don't understand. Okay, now if we jump right into Mass Bay, we are going to be in the middle of a nasty firefight, probably. I wonder where to come in on this. Where to fast travel, right? Probably not the combat zone. I think I cleared it out once, but it doesn't say cleared, so... Probably not DB High School. That's going to be Raiders. Hmm... Medical Center Metro? Maybe. I guess we'll try that. We'll see where we go. Oh, okay, Z1. Nice having you. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Loading screen, loading screen. Let's go kick some gunner's butts. I'm so ready for that. Although, if I remember this right, because I did get this far, the gunners inside Mass Bay Medical Center are, you know... Kind of one of those where there's actually a lot of dialogue involved there. We're okay, Hancock. Who are we shooting at, man? I just need to get to. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh boy, that. I didn't mean to pick that up. What? Come on. Ugh, can't see any of these people. Crank, crank, crank. It's a fun weapon to use, but it's really hard to see what you're shooting at. <laughs> I made it a spread shot thinking, you know, it'd be a be a hallway, you know, street sweeper kind of a thing, but, um, and it, it can be, but when it's not an actual hallway, I, I don't always know where to point the thing. Uh, hold up. I need, I need some aid here. Let's go with, probably rat away. And then something like a rad scorpion steak for energy resist. That'll work. Ooh, you know what I can use? Mm, where'd it go? There she is. Mare. Mare does not, however, have that same accuracy in VATS as Maria. <laughs> oh, she hits hard, though. Kind of makes up for it. Holy cow. Yes, please. Did we clear them out of the exterior? Wow, we got lucky because I'm telling you, sometimes the Deadly Commonwealth expansion puts gunner heavies out here. <laughs> Kate is hot. <laughs> Who says Kate's not? Is this a is this a debate? Okay, so we got raiders and gunners both dead out here, so maybe that's why I didn't encounter as much resistance as I thought. TDC? Am I supposed to know the acronym? TDC. I mean, that sounds like top dead center to me, but that's because I'm used to timing engines. <laughs> Not used to it, just done it. Okay. Uh. Oh, I think I might burn this. 
Let me see that. Yeah. Might want to use that stem before it swells. Better use of it than playing doctor with this wasted skin. Mm, the deadly commonwealth. No, it's Got just it. a bruise. This man is going to die if I don't... Yes. Exactly. I say let him croak. You broke Fiona's <laughs> nose when we found you in that Okay, Schaefer. Should we have left you to die there too? Worked out peaches and cobble for me. Doesn't make it any fucking smarter. You want to tell the kid to stop wasting supplies on psychos? We're here to tend to anyone that needs help. Not play judge and jury. What are you two arguing about anyway? Yeah, I have to agree, Ghost Hunter. Especially, Ghost Hunter. Just Especially once I got it, like, started using vats, I realized, he was just startled. you know, he he was you can, his life. You you can, can hold plow through some enemies with you the right weapons and vats. We... You spin the fucking barrel every time you put your hands on a dying asshole still high on Psycho. That makes you an idiot, not a hero. Don't kid yourself. I know his type. Of course, we find out Raphael's backstory, and he was one of these psychos at one so point. So he's very protective. He deserves to live. I'm stabilizing him. It's the right thing to do. If you don't like it, you should just... I should just what? Leave you alone with a psycho killer? You want to waste supplies? Fine. But Cassie will have my hide if he rips your throat out. I... Hey, Gamer55. Thanks for joining. It's good to have you. Me, I mean, he'll be out for a long time. I think. Or it was blood loss. Maybe both. Why did you say that? Shit. There's hope for you yet, kid. <laughs> oh, Raphael, you and your tough love. Hey, is it just me? Or does this whole thing feel, I don't know, weird? Won't hurt to stay on guard. Sarcastic? Looks like we missed the party. It's what we get for arriving fashionably late. Though if you ask me, not late enough. <laughs> Looks like it's handled down here. I'm gonna get upstairs. Back Fiona up. You coming? Yeah. A lot of dead raiders. Okay. Some gunners, some raiders. Yeah, walking up on Hancock dressed like that in the middle of out of the middle of nowhere is a little a little shocking, isn't it? Oh, Ghost Hunter, no, this is this is all Sim Settlements 2 stuff. The other even bigger quest mod, you know? Hey. This is a pretty big place. Always wondered about how they manage this kind of thing. You know, before the bombs. Not just building it, but staffing and funding and supplying. Guess it's easier when there's no mutants or raiders, huh? I don't know that song, Ranger Goodman. Times like this, I get Fiona's little obsession with the old world. It's like being inside a broken clock. Wondering how the gears fit together. What do you mean by that? Don't know if they call it something else here, but where I'm from, it's called Old World Blues. Doubt that being in a ruined hospital is helping it. Why do you think she was so eager to work with you? Not that it was a hard sell for the rest of us. Not every day someone makes a real effort. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of exposition from Cersei here. That's all for now. But... And Sierra Ranger Goodman, we know you love California, but uh, as a non-Californian, how would I even get in this room? Sorry, I got a little distracted there. I'm not as crazy about that song as <laughs> as you are. Whoa. Looks like this gunner put up a fight. And then... Come to help or just observe? Just a sec, Cassandra. Jeez. I gotta check this out. I think this is a Minuteman. Yes. Militia hat. Why is yeah? It there's a Minuteman decal on the floor. How weird, right? Okay. Well, anyhow. 
Let's talk to her. There we go. Uh, What's going on here? Not all patients wander into our care on their own two feet. Usually the ones who need aid the most are those left in the wake of combat. To find them, it's as easy as following the sounds of gunshots. But even then, it can take some persuasion before they're willing to let you treat them. Okay. Here to help. Hmm, it would appear we have similar goals. I'm glad to hear it. If you really wish to assist, then I could use a second opinion on this corpse. <laughs> there. Do you see that? Uh, I shot myself in the foot on the NCR application? Man. Yes. Should have known. Of course. As I thought, the skin discoloration, sunken eyes, the apparent expiration from relatively minor wounds, and other bodies showed similar symptoms. I believe this gunner squadron was sick. Strange. Usually gunners have the resources to combat wasteland diseases. If I were to guess, I'd say this was cholera. Cholera? Or perhaps a mutated strain. But I can't cool. Know for this sure is cool writing. Testing. Regardless, I would refrain from drinking the water around. There were survivors from this little shootout. A handful of gunners. Fiona's been trying to coax them out of hiding. Mm. They may be infected as well. If you speak to the gunners, it might be worth mentioning that we have the means of diagnosing and curing them. Okay, time to speak to the gunners. Aaron Kimball. I don't even know who that is, NCR Ranger Goodman. Have I just had my head in the sand about something? Probably a California thing. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess. Uh, I feel like I'm failing my test for the NCR exam. Oh, so clearly something was here. Oh, something will be here. Ha! Look at that. They've got some items placed for when the... Um already placed for when the nightingales take this place over. Okay. Oops. The theater district. I should have read that a little more closely. And Sarah Ranger Goodman, I don't know who Aaron Kimball is. And maybe that's a weirdly loaded question that I would have a hard time answering anyway, but I don't even know who that is, so... I swear, my silence come... I come by my silence honestly. Alright, up we go! I'm gonna back Fiona up against these gunners. I think we can talk these gunners out of here. Which is, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. Please, oh yeah, they got power armor and everything up here. You're wasting your damn breath. And you're still in our territory. The guns stay up until you... <laughs> We're not raiders oh or scavers, alright? We're doctors. We're here to help. I see several bad breaks. That one isn't putting enough pressure on... I'm losing my patience. If you don't get the hell out of here and... Are you kidding? There's more of you? Keep talking to her like that, and I'll shoot you myself. Doesn't look like you bastards along for this world anyhow. Raphael, you're not helping. Jazzbox, this nice to have you. Well, we're I'd almost hate to in chapter two of SS2, Raphael, and we're trying to work our way through the Nightingale's side quest, which is a pretty big one. Discussions again. This is... Ugh, this is awkward. I'll try. Maybe I can reason with them. I mean, I've got idea? some charisma in this build. Just saying. Your involvement with the coup at Gunners Plaza? Of killing gunners. Might work. Or they might start shooting as soon as they get a good look at you. V, start getting behind me. Just in case. Well, just remember, the Nightingales came here to help survivors, not slaughter them. Why can't Who you founded the NCR? Leave us alone. 
We're holding this know. hospital on gunner business, which doesn't involve you. Who founded so the NCR? Uh, somebody help me out here. I think I'm failing my admission to the NCR exams. Who are you people exactly? And I thought I was going to get a chance to like Commander maybe Yorks. you know read Field one of those meeting people magazines morning. or something. I already know who you are. I really don't care what went down at the plaza, and the last thing I want is to get my remaining men killed. Okay, Yorks. But if you're here on some campaign to exterminate gunners, I warn you we'll fight to the death. So it's best if you just leave. Hmm. Okay. I'm Calm not gonna threaten. And take a deep breath. Let's see if a peaceful you solution is possible here. Help you. Look, you can't help us and I don't trust you, so Does anybody know who founded the NCR? Us, it's fine. Let us leave, okay? Not like we'll be able to hold it anyway. Tandy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is on PC, guys. <laughs> I don't have the chops, honestly, to film on of, off of my um, console. That will treat you. Please, just let us dress your wounds Ooh, and leveled up on that one. Love it when you level up on a speech want, check, right? Promise. It's like so easy. There's gotta be a catch, damn it. Raiders I get, but... What the hell is your angle? I get it. You're searching for a catch. If it'll make you feel better accepting our help, you can gift us some hospital supplies once we're done. You cure whatever's wrong with us. You can keep the whole damn hospital. But I'm watching all of you, especially the asshole running his mouth. <laughs> I also use it to bite. Don't forget that. Oh, Raphael, just gotta keep poking them, don't you? But hey, we, we worked this out. Hey. Huh? Good work. I know you had no reason to do that. Again, I like it when gunners, this mod humanizes the gunners anyway. a little bit. I don't know if we'll be able to cure them, but I know Oh, man, Jazzbox, yeah. I have a PS5 as my console, not Xbox. So, so I I know the limitations. I, I know you. what it's like to live mod. I can't get some of this thin. equipment up and running again. It's definitely It can be kind of a fun challenge to make the most of a There's few small mods here, to really change the vanilla game enough. And, we'll and you know, I found a few good ones on the PlayStation 5, but uh, we'll this place a bit and the computer's where it's find. at. PC is I'll where it's at. For you, so come back in a couple days if you like. And thanks for being here today. Hospital municipal building. Cool. Cool. I guess. Completed calling ER. Cool. But what I don't remember is how far this really got us. Like, I know there's... All right? I know there's a lot more left. What do we got up here? I gotta check this out. T-45 gunner stuff. As, as far as I know, the gunner... If it's labeled gunner, then we can't do anything to it. We can't upgrade it. We can't repair it. Sometimes the gunners are wearing, like, generic power armor that is upgradable and repairable, and that's kind of nice. But All right, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Why aren't, why aren't I checking the missions? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't need that. No, I don't need that. Uh, check in with Catherine Drake. Who's Catherine Drake? I do not remember this person. Well, here, we'll level up, and then we'll figure out what we're supposed to do next. Look, NCR Ranger Goodman, commando, fully, fully stacked. We've got all the commando there is to get. So, there. I don't use auto weapons very often with this playthrough, but we've got it. Um, hmm. At level like 74, we're starting to get to the point where I don't need most of the stuff that bad. Maybe sneak. Maybe bloody mess. We could take Mysterious Stranger. We're in VATS a lot now. Critical Banker. Actually, yeah. I like that. Let's do go critical banker. And then maybe quick hands or something after that? I don't know. K 
Okay, yeah, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Hello there. <laughs> Talk to Fiona. Wonderful to see you. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Cool. So, seems you know how to hold your own. We'll talk to Hancock. I had my doubts when we first hit the road. What can I say? Some people have just got it. You ain't. Well, Jazzbox, I like SS2, but uh, right I don't use it for every playthrough because some playthroughs I don't want all the extra settlement mechanics. You know, sometimes. That said. Look if I think it's going to be a long playthrough and I want lots of NPCs and lots to do and lots of ways, you know, ways to go with it, SS2 is amazing. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood, but then he decides he's going to try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade, mankind for Madonna. Before you know okay, Dom. Load order is key. You're not wrong. Neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. It almost doesn't matter on a PS5, though, I can tell you, because there's hardly any room for anything anyway. You're not... <laughs> the load order is, is a short one. <laughs> you and McDonough knew each other as kids? Oh, yeah. Guy's my brother. Grew up together in a little shack on the waterfront. Guy was a standard big brother. Entitled. Punchy. Liked to shove rotten potatoes down my shirt and slap my back. But I never thought he'd be capable of something like what they did to those ghouls. Why did McDonough campaign against the ghouls? Because he thought he could win. There'd always been a pretty clear divide between the folks living in the stands and those down on the field. I'm not convinced they didn't do it just to improve their view. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window. Watching as the city turned on I'll probably road. switch to Mod me. Organizer 2 said, after this Sim Settlements John. playthrough and before Fallout London. That's what I'm there, thinking. Um, probably it. that's how I'll do it. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to Otherwise, I'll probably lose a lot of my playthroughs if I switch Mod Organizers, you know, midstream. You know what I mean? Carrying out the will of the people, and he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. Hideous fucking mile long smile. Never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. He murdered those ghouls. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent cams, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there, but most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed Schaefer, we were talking on the stream the yesterday about how none of us knew exactly what had happened to Fallout Miami. Is, is it out? I thought we were still waiting for that to drop. We couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Oh, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. We can flirt with Hancock. And let's, that's what we are? Let's get weird. Friends? Well, now that you mention it, I have been having slightly more impure thoughts than usual. Maybe we'll get to uh, act on those. <laughs> but I guess we should probably head out, huh? After you. Everything all right? Uh, yeah. Hey. Hello there. Wonderful to see you. Okay. Everything all right? All right, all right, all right. So I guess that's pretty standard dialogue. I think, you know, I think we're supposed to leave, I guess, or something. Um, I think we can go out through the roof somewhere up here, right? Think so? Wow, this place is big. Okay. 
Fiona's jealous. Well, she was kind of being a, the cooler there in that situation, wasn't she? Well, that sunrise tells me it's time to switch weapons. What did the gunners leave us up here on the roof? A couple of fragmentation mines. Some psycho. I always take cigarettes. They don't weigh much. They sell for kind of a lot. All right. What is this guy doing here? Like, I thought it was super mutants up on this part of the roof. Not gunners. Barely touched him. Mm. Who hit me? Who did it? Hmm. Huh. You guys are still on your feet? And there are no super mutants over there, huh? Maybe this squad of gunners cleaned them out. I don't know. I don't, gunner loot is better than most other, gen, you know, NPCs. Wait, I think that's Hancock. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I don't know how he got down there. Okay, seriously, don't know how he got down there. And also, is he fighting against somebody with a Gatling laser? That's not that smart, man. Where is this person? Uh-oh. Well, we're about to test my fall damage. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> Oopsies. Should have known that was going to happen. The Uzi, right? I did hear about the uh, Miami Uzi. I did. I did. Oh boy, where are we going to load in here? That was a pretty rookie mistake. <laughs> I did slightly miscalculate, yes. Yeah, I am missing a Kellogg. You know what? Actually, I have it equipped, but it's a little, like, off and on. It's, I, I'll show you. I'll show you. It's probably technically equipped, but uh, unless I swapped it out for a different function than fall damage. But I don't think I did. It just doesn't always work. Right. So this tells me we're probably on the roof, but we might still be in the hospital even with this, you know... This loading screen might be a hospital loading screen. <laughs> Why I sold my mother. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Hajro, maybe. Boy. Oh, oh. And we're still in the hospital. Oof. Okay. Hancock admires me. Are you telling me we haven't talked to him yet? I can't I can't go through that again. That was a lot. That's a lot of dialogue. I don't I'm not gonna repeat it right now. Until he idolizes me and is ready for the final talk, we don't we don't need to go there. Alright.
long elevator ride. So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first... He wants to have this conversation in the elevator. We're going to speed through this one. Thanks. I never get many. It's just real. Mm -hmm. Too many good folks. Not Look at what happened. A little strict, uh -huh. but then he decides he's going to try. Before you know mm -hmm. You and McDonald. Oh, yeah. Guy was... This, but I never... Run through the same. Why did McDonald... Because he thought there'd always been... A, I'm not convinced. Uh -huh. I remember storming into his... He was just... Mm -hmm. I did. Should have killed... He said he... Could. Right. And then he... Sure. He murdered them. Him and that... I still... I'd been sneaking up. Synth I McDonough. To I brought them food. Folks and died. I felt like I was the only one. Uh -huh. Still feel that way. Uh -huh. I know I run. Mm -hmm. It's meant a lot to me. Okay. Feel... And that's what we are? Friends? Well, now that you mention it, I have been having slightly more impure thoughts than usual. Maybe we'll get Oh, thanks, Jazzbox. Act on those. Thanks. <laughs> but I guess we should... I've been trying to find some more Enclave content to, you know, run with, because it's pretty good stuff, but, um, I don't have too m Ooh, wait. Oh, please tell me I can place a Mila now. Of course I can't. <sighs> I wish. Where would this take me? You know what? That's okay. We can just fast travel somewhere, right? We don't have to fight our way through this stuff right now. So what's worth doing? I could recruit a couple more uh, people for HQ, and that might move the HQ stuff along. We've got some main storyline stuff to do, but I... I would have to alienate the Brotherhood, and I'm not sure that there's much of a point to doing that right now. Who the heck is Catherine Drake? Who is Catherine Drake? Okay, so whoever she is, she's at Egret Tours, so we'll go there. Why not? <laughs> yes, down, hopefully. <laughs> okay, gang. I was trying to make this a shorter stream, so let's give it another, you know, 10 minutes or so. See, if, if something I can't stop doing pops up by then, okay, I guess, but... Uh. Uh. Wow, this is. Okay. Catherine? No, that's Maggie Green. Okay. So where is Catherine Drake? Inside. Okay. Hey. Hey. You uh, are got so a second? Quiet. I have an idea I'd like to run by you. Okay. I'm listening. Go ahead. So I spent the last few days getting settled in. Still getting used to things, but... Oh, right. I can't help but notice there's a lot of junk around here. Wait, no. That came out wrong. What I mean is... I remember this gal and her endless fetch quests. Lying around. I have a way we can make use of it. I used to be a junk runner from my old home. Anything that was useful in the ruins outside the walls, I could find it. Even things the others ignored. If we had a place here where people could drop off the extra scrap, I know some ways to get the most out of it. If you were willing to mark off some space where we could pull something like that together, I'd make sure people took it seriously. What do you think? Uh... What do you mean by home? Oh, yeah, right? Um... Well... I used to live in a small town north of the Commonwealth, up near the ruins of Manchester. Barely more than a hole in the wall, really. But good, honest people lived there, and they made it feel like a real home. I miss my friends. I wish I could go back. Maybe tell them about what you have going on. What here. is this backstory, Catherine? But that's... That's not an option anymore. Anyway, I had a good workshop set up back then. I'd like to build something like that again. Maybe even better than what I had before. Okay. What do you mean? What happened? Raiders happened. A much bigger group than I have ever seen. They tore apart everything that made that place my home. 
Figure I'd be dead too if I hadn't been out on a run when they attacked. Yep, random lore dump. I saw the smoke and ran back, but by the time I did, there wasn't anybody left for me to help. I... <sighs> Look, there's no need to dig up more than that. I've had nice transition to mourn what I've lost. I'm hoping this will get my mind off it. So would you be willing to try it? I promise it'll be well worth the time invested. I think it's a great idea. Really? Great idea. You think so? That's great. Or at least that's what Thank I'm going to tell you because so you seem to be having a moment here. Space we want us to set up shop, and we'll take care of the rest. Not a bad setup. Okay, I guess I'll need a new mayor though. And it can't be you, Phyllis. Hmm. Honestly, this place gets pretty crowded. Uh let's let's see. I think over here we might be able to make her little her little shop. Oh wait, it's not gonna be in there. I guess it's going to be like an industrial plot that... Something's got to work. Come on. Really? This is so hard. Alright. Maybe I can bring it down a bit. There we go. That seems more reasonable. The rad stag around here somewhere, huh? <laughs> yeah, Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis could do that. For sure she could. Let's see. Uh, let's... Let's choose a building plan. I think I know how this is supposed to happen. junk gathering but I need I need the one for her teardown yard sounds right that was the one wasn't it that was that was what she gave us right the teardown yard I think it was Distillery, huh? Well, anyway, I think I got the right one. And now, if we... If we go find Catherine... Where'd you go, girl? There you are. You've served the off... This office of mayor with great dignity, Catherine. Sure. All right, and now, uh, Maggie, who on earth decided you should be on guard duty, Maggie? You're much more like mayor material. Here we go. Maybe it's a good thing I'm taking Catherine off the uh, mayor's desk. She doesn't seem to know where people belong. There we go. Okay, so we're making things... Oh, goodness gracious, ladies. We're, we're keeping things moving along, I guess. Uh, can I go out here? Mm -hmm. What is... What's going down? I better be a guard. A well digger? Man. Can't trust these people at all. 
Do I have a... It's got to be something for a guard to do. Here we go. It's a guard check, right? Hmm. Okay, whatever then. Woo, bonk. We'll check in with Catherine. That was fast. Appreciate her speed. Hey. hey, good to see you. I still need some time to get things together, but uh, come back and see me in a little while, okay? I might have something you'd be interested in. Okay. Looks to me like I need to give her some like stairs, right? Just some standard stairs. I don't. I'm not gonna get fancy. That'll do it. Okay. What else can we do? We could recruit more people. Okay, let's let's see about recruiting a couple people. But maybe this is an okay place to do it. Oh, no, there's nothing special going on there. Okay, Phyllis, you're just chilling out, huh? What's this guy's deal? Mm, nothing happening there. Buddy, I know you want to be on guard duty. Hmm. Okay, man. You're hopeless. Uh, nobody seems that worth recruiting here, you know? <laughs> Did I not make it orange enough, you NCR Ranger Goodman, for crying out loud? Alright. I turned the beacon on in Sanctuary. They should be getting some more people for me to send to HQ. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. Oop, there's somebody. Out here? You gotta take things one day at a time. Hmm, not too special. Okay, next. If you work, you eat. Mm-hmm, no, nope, nothing that special that. here. Hmm, okay. Yeah? I'm visiting Lumberjack. Crop's been growing pretty good lately. Yeah, man, threes? Give me something to I can work with. I lost track of how many blisters I got. Twos, even worse. Threes, boy, this is not this is not the place. Okay, bunch of mediocre folks here. Ada might be... Whoa! Ada! Dang. Um... Were you able to find anything at General Atomics? Yes, I was, but I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Fine. I found Let's have a look. Impressive tech. If my mm -hmm. analysis, I suspect, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the next one. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a sign. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a room sure. in order to maximize. I'll get you later. Very well. I'll be here when you're ready. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? 
Uh, no, Ada. Let me get my recruitment clipboard because your stats are off the hook. Let's see. Um. Yeah, I, I, okay. Got a minute? There we go. We can recruit Would you her. Be interested in coming to work for me? Uh, yeah. And then now uh, let's see here. I guess engineering is where I should put her. That is crazy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. We just need uh, we need like one more recruit or something. We're pretty close to how to HQ. Two more recruits. Well, Ten Pines Bluff. Let's go check it out. Let's go see if they have anything. The Remnants Bunker Mod. Uh, Gamer Fifty Five. Are you talking about um, Lima Detachment or or the one that starts with an A? Uh, because I've done those two. Huh? You should know. People have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. Okay, well, take it up with your mayor, buddy. Supposedly, there's this cool new system where the mayor handles that stuff. A four in endurance. Nah. The farm's not much, but it's something. Fours across the board, but she's the mayor. We'll we'll let her stay as the mayor. Uh, okay. Yes. Some threes. I don't know, people. I'm looking for someone exceptional, but I don't think I'm gonna yes. find him here. Excuse Lots me. Visiting yes. farmer. Okay. Hmm. Don't care much for good neighbor. That place, it's nothing but trouble. Hi, how are you? Uh, I think I already talked to this guy. Yeah, probably. Huh? Hmm, a four. I don't think this is where we're going to find our next recruit. Let's see. Starlight's got some people. That's probably about it. So we'll try that. We'll try Starlight. Oh yeah, Atlas Summit. That's the one I meant. Hmm. Then maybe I haven't done the remnants mod. Please remain calm if you are. You know injured. what? You're getting scanned, Doc Shock. Oh my gosh, robots. Uh Yeah, you're being wasted as a machine disassembler, Doc Shock. You're coming with me, man. Protect and serve. Uh Wait, can I not actually have a conversation with... And serve. I did equip the clipboard. Yes, I did. Protect and serve. Okay, so I can't. I can't recruit them. Okay, Vitamatic. Let's scan Katie. I thought so. But we don't have our science department up and running yet at the HQ anyway, so never mind. <laughs> Sneak. This guy's hilarious. He's not particularly good at anything, though, so... <laughs> despite what he claims. And nothing to fear. Just wanted to trade a few things. No, I didn't want to just trade a few things. I wanted to scan this person. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 
recruitment clipboard, engage. Let's trade. Okay. Nope. Oh, it's because I already tried to recruit this guy once. And then I think there wasn't room or something. Is this guy good at anything? Whoa. Well, yes, he is. Man, is he ever in the right place? Yeah, that gadget is a Sim Settlements thing, Ghost Hunter. Um, the Vitamatic scans the settlers to I see what they're good at, things. so you can decide whether you want them to recruit. Man, and I can't recruit this guy either. Okay. I think it's because I tried to recruit them before when I didn't have enough room for recruits. Gremlin. Hey there. Ooh, hey there. Have we met? I'm Gremlin. Or, that's what everybody calls me. The followers said okay. I should get a more normal name, and Curtis suggested Gamma. But I've been Gremlin for so long that it's the name I think when I think of me in my head. And one of the guys at the fort was named Arcade. And I mean, how normal a name is. The fort. Sorry, I'm rambling. Uh. Who are you? What are you doing out here? <laughs> Sorry. I had trouble slowing down even when Julie had an answer. Camps, and we had withdrawal, so I was kind of way more on edge all the time. Anyway, my name's Gremlin. I joined the followers of the Apocalypse. Yeah, Ghost Center. This is a SS2 is a pretty thick mod. I don't think they've made it this far east. Where was I? Right. So, full disclosure, I used to be a raider. The followers helped me get an education and turn my life around. Only I didn't fit in with the followers. Couldn't really kick the Ken's unhealthy obsession with guns and explosives. So <laughs> now I'm here. Follow? Well, that's honest. Uh. Is the situation that bad? Oh, no way. I didn't mean to make it sound like I'm just some junkie. Jeez. Uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry. Oh, okay. um, Uh, I guess you could call it an electrical engineer. Even before I joined the followers, I used to maintain laser weapons for the fiends. That's, um, the raider thing I kind of got raised into. Long story, don't ask. <laughs> Schaefer. You got some hard lessons ahead of you. <laughs> just saying. I don't think anybody can tell you. I think you just got to live it to know it. But, uh, yeah. No problems here. <laughs> uh, doing better than me, then. Don't worry, though. I only use a little jet and men's hats. Maybe a little hit of daddy if I really need it. Never anything like Psycho, though. <laughs> I I've seen what it does to people. I'm a responsible junkie, promise. Uh, nice to meet you. You too. And, uh, thanks for not judging. So, anyway, I'm happy to join your little town and ready to help out any way I can. If you have anything for me to do, just tell me. <sighs> yeah, sure. Why not? Right, okay, we'll send her to... We'll send her here, and then I'm going to recruit her because I suspect she's got some stats in something. Perception, maybe? She said she was an engineer. Vitamatic already equipped. Gremlin available to scan. What are you working with, Gremlin? Agility and intelligence and perception. So she's actually more of, she'd be better as security at uh, HQ. All right. I can, I can deal with that. Hi there. Uh, where are you? Gremlin, hey. Wow, she is distractible. Goodness. Okay, anyway. ADD. Yes, sent to HQ. And we're going to put her in security, which is actually where she really would do the best. We have 14 out of 15 settlers recruited, I think. Right? Oh, we're so close. Here, we'll we'll do one more before we jump off. We'll do another one and we'll just see what happens once once we have recruited enough visiting. Okay. Hey, I know you. <clears throat> you, I've heard of you. Heard you sweet talked your way into Diamond City right in front of No Good McDonald. Would have loved to see that. Okay, Lacey. Till the mayor ripped me off and ran me out of town. 
I'd sure like to get one over on that bastard. Say, maybe there's an opportunity for both of us here. I'm a more than capable shopkeeper willing to set up for new... Yeah, Hadro, I'm a little worried about Gremlin. Okay. You got my attention. I paid a deposit to run my stall in Diamond City. When McDonough gave me the boot, he refused to pay it back. That's where you come in. Get my deposit from his grubby hands and I'll set up shop. What? Might get my hands on some rare stock if you don't kick me out like no good McDonough did. Wow, she's not big on McDonough as she keeps calling him. Why did the mayor throw you out? It was all a misunderstanding. Sure, I had some heated things to say at a town meeting, but who doesn't sometimes? And I kind of might have been three months late on rent. <laughs> that was a big one. But the summer months are lean months. Everyone knows that. This so, stream? Uh, no, Tom. Can you help me? Uh, let's see. Sounds Are we like supposed to storm the mayor's office? Then. What? No! By the way, Anyone nice to have you. Hurt on account of me. Geneva's a friend of mine. Uh. Something happened. Oh, I get it. That was a joke, right? <laughs> I don't think I can give them our, my perception gear. To to answer your earlier question, Tom, I I don't think it works. But I know there are some console commands for just, like, cranking everybody's stats to full. But console commands kind of mess with SS2. I get into trouble when I start using them. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Oh, wow. Right. My deposit is somewhere in the mayor's office. Look for the extremely rare giddy-up buttercup. You'll know it when you see it. The extremely rare giddy-up buttercup. Some or all of you may have heard of that old parcel. Yeah, Gadozen. This is, um, this is Mojave Manhunter stuff by Nero. Yeah, you're you're right. Uh, if I take off the shadow scarf, you know, we can see Glory's face a little better. The cavalry hat is a militarized Minuteman piece, as is the backpack. The shotgun is from Azar's holstered weapons. The gloves are Minutemen gloves, I think. Yeah. And She's wearing patrolman sunglasses instead of Minuteman sunglasses, not because they look better, but because I also have cool charisma clothes, and these add perception and charisma, so a couple useful stat buffs, and they look okay. So there we go. There's the look. And I use uh, ECO to make all her other armor just kind of go away if I don't like the way it meshes with the Mojave Manhunter stuff, so there it is. All right. Well, guys, I think... We'll do this McDonough thing so we can recruit her and then and then we will see what happens when we recruit her. See what happens when we, we fulfill the how to HQ quest. It might kick something else into motion. I don't know. I'm curious. I don't really know, Tom. I guess there'd be a way to test. I could trade gear, scan somebody, and then you know, trade it back or something. Who needs a haircut? Diamond Everyone City surplus is where you can sell all those Step scraps up. you've scavenged. Oh, right. We're here to raid McDonough's office. I almost forgot. Let's go. She looks pretty good. So does Diamond City, sort of. Iconic. That's that's how Diamond City looks, I guess. <laughs> good. Hmm. Lot of do to do. Kellogg's house key. Well, I'll take that. Remember I don't know. You didn't get that key from me. Now, okay. If you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a. I'm not. I'm not interested in buying a house. McDonough, don't talk to me. You suck. I know there's... This rare giddy-up buttercup has to be somewhere, right? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. 
Dooba dooba doo. Tell me I'm hidden. Batter up buttercup. <laughs> That's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. I'll take that for good measure. Figured this kind of thieving was below us. Really, Hancock? I didn't. No Wait a minute, I've got Hancock with me. Let's go talk to McDonough and see what happens. I'm very busy right now. Really? You got nothing to say. Mayor McDonough. Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. I've got Hancock here with me, dude. I have somewhere to be. Sorry. Where did Hancock go? Oh, weird. Where'd he go? I thought he'd have something to say about talking to McDonough, but. You need something, honey? Housing per I guess not. Well, you know, Tom, the the um, scanner may it may only really apply to the mechanics of Sim Settlements 2 and not to the other game, you know, like the the vanilla game. So, but if you're giving all your people perception gear in Sim Settlements, then we'll find out. We'll find out what's what. Okay, Hancock. Here, when we go back to Starlight, we can do this little experiment, right? Yes, we can. And this stream is going longer than I meant it to because it's really hard to pinch this stuff off, you know? But if I don't jump off the stream soon, I, I'll never get that Western video edited for everybody. And it's been too long since I released, like, a video video. I'm eager to put another one out. But let's tie this up. Let's Let's do this thing, right? Um, to fear. Who's this guy? Hey, you're the one in charge here, right? I've been looking for you. <laughs> my God, the NPCs never stop. Sure. Name's Jason Martin. Uh, to make a long story short, I'm ready to land and call a place my own. Land, huh? You needed help. What is he, a vertebrate pilot? Protection. I've been a guard most of my life. You have a place you want safe and sound? Put me there, and I'll make it happen. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Excellent. You won't regret this. Just show me where to go and I'll get to it. For real? Well, go here and I will send you to the HQ, man. She crossed the wrong people and won't be seen anywhere again, ever. Why can't I scan him? There we go. He's a... He's a... Okay, agility, he's right. Security is kind of his place. It's nice to know that he was straight with me about that anyway. Okay. I have a thought. Let's talk to him. Let's trade a few things. Uh, apparel. The patrolman's sunglasses have perception and charisma. Right? So, uh, let's see. If we equip them on him... Does his go up? He's a five and a five. Perception is a two. In Charisma is a two. Did those go up? We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'll get these back. Okay, this is my home. Oh, it worked, man. The gear did do something. Look, his numbers are back down to one. Perception and Charisma were each at two last time, so... There it is. We now know. It does actually work. Cool. That was worth doing. Uh, uh okay, auto-saving. Don't, don't glitch on me now. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, let's get our clipboard out. Let us, let's... Let's do this, right? Can I ask you something? Can I ask him something? There. You interested in coming to work for me? GNN. Yeah, you're going into security, my friend. Oh, there we go. 15 out of 15. I like that. Now let's just find what's her name. Get her points for stealing her buttercup back. You get used to it. Another day of hard work. Here you go. Good. 
exchanges. But I don't need it back. Consider it my deposit for you. Like I need this thing. And no need to hide it away. Oh, I guess the GNN exterior is available now. That's cool. We did move something. Like I said, your best bet for your bottom line is to let me set up my shop. But I'll do whatever needs to be. Where do you need me? Uh. Uh, where do I need her? I have no one at, um... The outpost Zamonja, but let's put her somewhere that makes sense. How about mm. uh, <laughs> I don't know where to put her. Maybe she could go to Ten Pines Bluff or Finch Farm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm taking too long thinking about this. Let's just send her to Sanctuary. That'll work. Build a little shop there. Feet hurt. Everything hurts. Lacey's Buckles building plan unlocked. Okay. That's cool, I guess. That's cool. <laughs> Mr. Surgery. Okay. Here we go. We're supposed to talk to... Uh, we're supposed to talk to... Cedric on the radio, I guess. But... Is he here now? What? Where is the comms radio? Is it in my inventory somewhere? HQ radio. There it is. Okay. Uh, Mansfield. Um, hey, it's working. Is this working? Oh, I don't have Jaca, uh, Jamaica Plains. I didn't ever go get that settlement. There is a situation developing at HQ, and I think you should be made aware of it. We've had somewhat of an outbreak, an illness that's been going around. Oh, yeah, Z1, I probably will. I've been trying to keep this going. I don't know how else I'll get through some settlements unless I do this pretty regularly. So, yeah. Uh, you know, usual time. 12. I've been trying to make that consistent so thanks for asking yeah maybe you should find a doctor yes that would be the app response However, okay here we go here with the now we can recruit the nightingales do some outside firing, I remember this now with pharmaceutical training or barring that an individual at least capable of spelling pharmaceutical <laughs> I know someone that might be able I think to it's Cassandra you speak of the Nightingales, yes? I had heard you'd already had some dealings with them. Yes, I had. I believe there's a chance one of their members might consider joining us if we ask nicely. The last I heard, the Nightingales had relocated to a hospital, so I'd start your search there. Oh, I know which one. Um, I suppose I should say, uh, good luck. I hope it goes well. Okay, Cedric. <laughs> Way to make it weird. Bye now. Way to make it weird, Cedric. Okay. Well, um... Why is this here? I'm gonna drop that. Sure. No, we ain't gonna need that, Hancock. Let's... I guess we'll try. And try and recruit people. Yeah, Cool Charisma Close is a mod that I downloaded for my um, railroad playthrough. So my railroad faction buff video has Cool Charisma Close in it. Um, 
just anything kind of formal like tuxedos or or suits or formal hats they all add a little charisma bump at least the vanilla versions do makes sense at least there's you know at least they're giving you something and not not just looks you know and i've done playthroughs where i put everybody in black suits put the glasses on you know had this kind of like slick fbi look to everybody that that's kind of fun hancock looks okay with a pompadour you know hey. in a suit <laughs> hi not looking worse for the wear okay is that everything she's going to say to me uh Yeah, actually, I feel him on this. I mean, gunners are kind of jerks, but I bet he asked. He pro he probably tried to get that pie, right? Yeah. Okay. He looks he looks busy. He's busy. We'll just we'll come back. Um, I think we're looking for Cer not Cersei, Cassandra. Wow, they did not pick any of this up yet. Um, ugh. how do I get over there? This place is sprawling. I don't want to go that out that door. Uh, uh, how do I, how do I even get in there? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I must have missed something. There's got to be a way. Must have to take the elevator. Yeah, that must be it. Okay. Or the stairs. The stairs. That'll work too, won't it? Probably. Maybe. Hey, man. Hey there. Hey. Yeah, I like berets too. Um, that was a good vanilla choice, I thought. Where is everybody? Nope. Guess we'll take the elevator up. Maybe, uh, Cassandra and... Oh no, I forgot her name. Fiona are up here. Hmm? Or maybe not. Anybody up here? Don't mind if I do. Oh, come on, let me up. everybody okay there we go we're looking out somebody's here you know everything all right <laughs> a couple of high powered magnets in there huh uh, I wasn't trying to start. Okay, well, sure. We'll talk to Fiona. What do you got? Oh, hey. I did promise to set aside a reward for you. Here. There's also a locker where we stash what we took off the bodies as well. You're free to it. Oh, I oh, wish I'd known that. Importantly, here's some schematics for your ASAMs. I composited them from the hospital records on sanitation. A gun, huh? I mean, we already have the Sequoia. Thank you. No, thank you. With your tech and initiative, every settlement can now have proper health measures. It might not see immediate return, but trust me. Okay. In the long run, it'll make a big difference for survival. That's all I had. Cersei is out right now, but I can patch you up if you need. Anything else need doing? Work is never done. I'm a bit busy with some of the pre-war diagnostic machines, seeing if I can get them up and running. Okay. Everyone else has been really busy getting this place set up and secure. 
Maybe you can check in with them, see if they need anything. Okay, okay, okay. Well... I should get going. It's nice that we can get doctor services here. That makes sense. Oh, sanitation, okay. Cool. for a change. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, honestly. It feels like I'm supposed to go get either Cersei or Cassandra. I can't remember how involved this part is. Surge, nice to see you back. <laughs> well... NCR Ranger Goodman, once, once I have the right gun, I mean, it's gotta... It can't just be some random vanilla thing. Right? Oh, she's not up here, is she? I don't... I don't think so. This is small. Okay. Oh, wait. Now we have quest markers, so... Okay. Check in with Gremlin. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're getting somewhere now. Oh, this is the storage. Oh. Okay, that's... that's cool. That's cool of them to give that to me. Oh, well, hello. Man, I'm getting distracted here. Okay, well, there's gotta be... more going on. Alright, uh... Okay. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Then go fetch Raphael to pin the patient down. Okay, here we go. Already another dose of sedative. No. No, no. We can't keep sedating him. It can't be good for the patient. And we should give Raphael a break. He's already done a lot. Oh, you think yourself more capable of wrestling with an unruly patient. I can't tell if that's arrogance or misplaced compassion. Mis misplaced? After everything he's done for us just because he's he could have been hurt, all just to keep the rest of us safe. Ellis, enough. Sulking has its place, but that place is not during a biopsy. Dang, okay. It's really something. And Thanks, Ellis. Hmm? Oh, yes. Seems poor Ellis is at war with himself. He so desperately wants to do the right thing. I remember Cassandra's the one we can recruit, because she feels like a little bit of a misfit here, but I can't remember exactly what road takes us there. To what's right and wrong daily, don't you? Tell me, this patient here, a raider by profession, most likely responsible for many vile deeds. In your opinion, is this patient better off dead? I guess this is a question of can people be rehabilitated, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Ah, perhaps you're hearing that little voice in the back of your head. The one that asks, what if? What if someone else needs this medicine more? What if this raider goes on to kill an innocent family? What if, what if, what if? Mm -hmm. Ellis is struggling because he's confronted by too many options. He's unable to embrace any of them. What do you think? I think Ellis is young and has a lot to learn. Violence especially seems to unnerve him. He tries to hide behind Nightingale's teachings to protect himself. But despite appearances, the Nightingales are not pacifists. The kid's smart. Smarter than you realize. Oh, I know. He's also more headstrong than he first appears. Given enough time, I believe he'll find what's right for him. Okay. But enough about that. I'm glad you stopped by. I've heard you have a curious little gadget called a Vitomatic. Yes, I do. see it, please. Of course. Here you go. Sure. Thank you. Oh, and, and don't worry. 
I would never scan you without your consent. <laughs> now, see. I get why she says that. You know, it's a pretty revealing scan. This little device is confused by post-war mutations. I've reset its scanning parameters. That should allow it to diagnose common diseases. Wow. How did you know that? Fiona would have you believe I'm technophobic. And while I do little to dissuade that notion, I don't deny the usefulness of pre-war machinery. In fact, I spent much of my youth hunting for such things. I'm actually okay. quite familiar with a number of pre-war technologies. Your little scanner, for example, was made over 200 years ago by Robco. Yeah, kind of like everything so else. Much time having passed since its creation, it was certain that a few of its coding variables basically needed a nudge in order to compensate. So she's a programmer too, huh? Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. You're welcome. Oh. Well, that's cool, I guess. Uh. Oh, hello. You know, I always thought being a doctor would be Man, easy. recruiting a doctor is not that easy. Sick, you cure them. Everybody's you everybody's got some moral conundrum to chat your ear Maybe off with. Right, you know? Maybe Cassandra's right. Maybe even when you're trying to do the good thing, it's still... Oh, sorry. You probably didn't walk up to me just to hear me ramble. Is there uh, something I can do for you? What's his story? We picked him up nearby, I think. Definitely a raider. Raphael said something about Bosco's guy, but I don't really know what <laughs> or who that is. Bosco's guy. He's been a bit... Well, I hate to say it, but feral comes to mind. Mumbling nonsense, snapping teeth fighting us at every turn hmm. we had to strap him down and sedate him i don't even know if he wants our help with how hard he was fighting back Raphael was stronger but you did your best i'm starting to wonder what if he'd really hurt Raphael or killed someone or he's in a lot of pain and we can't help him anyway mm -hmm. well no one got hurt this time Fiona thinks she can get one of the diagnostic machines running, but Cassandra's probably already figured it out. We have those vials you and Raphael recovered from the ship. Helped us treat the cholera York says hmm. men had. That's cool. But we had a diagnosis there. It's just... A lot to take in. Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble more at you. Alright. So, what do I do now, right? Uh... <laughs> Jump off the balcony, come over, talk to Raphael. I was wondering if you'd be stopping by. Listen, I got an escort errand to run. If you're interested in coming with, won't take long. Uh, what kind of help do you need? Fiona pulled some strings at Bunker Hill for supplies water, parts, tools, whatever. Do about now, didn't show. I'm not one to get ulterior over a delay, but I'm itching for something to do. Might as well go meet them. So, you in? I guess. Caravan was coming by way of Diamond City. Safer route through there. If we check the street west. NCR we'll Ranger Goodman, I can't have every pistol mod. I can't. I, I, shoot on the way. I only want enough mod. I only you want mods one. I can I'll watch like I'll back. use. You know what I mean? Like if I have a hundred different Glock mods or something, how, how am I supposed to use them? That's. I mean, the Maria Maria was pretty good. Okay, so what are we supposed to be doing right now? Lead Raphael to check on the caravan. Recruited Nightingale to help at HQ. Well, I want to do that, but they're not really giving me those dialogue options just yet. Maria was pretty good. Ghost Hunter 300 weapons in your load order? I doubt you use them on the regular, too. Alright, uh... Let's turn off some other quests so that I'm not chasing...
too many at once. Okay, that did help. Okay. Cersei's got to lighten up. Moment of death mark. Hmm. So I guess we head this way. Toward Bunker Hill. Makes sense. I don't know if I want to creep the whole way. I honestly can't remember how busy this all is. Mm. I mean, it's not too bad. Here, we'll go this direction. We'll see, NCR Ranger Goodman, I bet it's pretty good. It's made by the same guy who made the 10mm revolver, which is, which is cool. Are you talking about DAC? DAC stuff's good. It's good. But I've already downloaded a few things, like the 22 pack. I thing is, it's it's an okay early game, and maybe some um, legendaries would be interesting finds. But I don't use it that much. I I did like the leveled list integration. It is kind of you know nice to find it on enemies, but. Okay, so what's going down here? Hmm? <laughs> Pop your head back up, man. <laughs> really? this who's this now you know we can <laughs> we got somewhere to be we'll just let the mr. gutsy attack the raiders that's cool right you guys are coming with me right yeah okay mm-hmm uh oh this scene doesn't look good Super mutants attacked the caravan from the looks of it. Right? Where are the people? Hmm. Well, shit. Super mutants. Here I thought I'd be setting up shop next to the combat zone that'd cause problems. Funny. Nightingale's found me an erect caravan just like this one. I have to ask the kid if there's some fancy word for it. Oh, NCR Ranger Goodman plays Fallout games. I can tell you that, Z1. Sometimes he's playing them while he's watching the stream. That's how I know. Tangle with super mutants. Nope. Not super mutants. Raiders. My gang, actually. I was one of the attackers. Me? Another sob story. Yeah, I'm just tearing up. Whatever. Let's see if there's any. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> of course, me? NCR Ranger Goodman is literally playing one right now. <laughs> what happened after that? Don't really remember. Alice says I fought back when they found me. But I can't remember anything until I woke up a couple of days later. Figure they confused me for a caravan hand or something. Then I got bored of just lying around, so I stopped ignoring the kids' chatter. Okay. It turns out they knew who I was. Can Raphael be a follower? Is he a potential companion? Because I could handle that. The time. Probably still is. Was planning to walk off as soon as my legs healed. Then I guess I just never got around to it. Never was one for plans, anyway. Anyway, now's probably 
Oh shit. You hear that? Okay, here we go. Kill the super mutants. Okay. <laughs> done and done. Come on out, super mutant. <laughs> <laughs> this gun's fun. Should have figured they'd stick it out in case it brought other idiots in. It's a classic. I'll see what uh, I can salvage from this pile and meet you back at the hospital. Where did? Okay, there. I mean, it's not. It's not what I would have picked. Okay, so we're supposed to return to the hospital. Okay, fair enough. At least we can fast travel there without a lot of trouble. <laughs> Ghost Hunter 280 is still a lot. Okay. Every once in a while, OBS and Fallout 4 crash at the same time. It's not my favorite. <laughs> I'm back, right? You guys can see me? I mean, I, I assume I'm back. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Why is it so hard to stop these streams? I told myself, shoot for an hour. See if you can stream for just an hour. Is that so unreasonable? Here we are almost two and a half in. This is why my other videos just don't get made right now. Okay, so my plan will be so that I can put reasonable limitations and boundaries on this. Uh, my plan will be try to get back to the hospital. Um, see if I can recruit Cassandra yet or something. Um, but at 2.30, I'm going to try to cut it off. So that I can go edit that other video, because it'll, it'll just never get done if I don't move over there. So, what, seven more minutes? Hmm. Yeah, Fallout 4 edit is kind of... There's a lot of potential there for people to kind of just tweak things on their own. No Discord or Reddit for you? I'm only not really on Discord or Reddit in any... I mean, I have a membership to Discord and I jump on Reddit sometimes, but I'm just too lazy to start my own thing on them. Okay, guys, let's see if, let's check this map again. Is there somewhere better to fast travel to? We'll, we'll fast travel to Medical Metro, and we'll just see if we can walk over to the med bay without crashing this thing. Sometimes you just gotta fast travel in somewhere else. Okay, so far so good. I think maybe we quick save this thing, right? All right, we're coming up to the front doors. We're in good shape. Cross your fingers, everybody. Hmm, okay.
speak to Raphael, who's already back here. Wow, he's fast. There you are. Listen, thanks for the head today. Being around these bleeding heart pacifists all day. It's nice to get out there and put the gun to use. <laughs> and, uh, about the shit I said. You know, about how I hooked up with the Nightingales. Anyway, I'm off to a tell gentleman never to tells, you. Raphael. See you around. Check on Fiona. Oh gosh, you guys. Let's see, five more minutes? Then I guess that's what we do. We check on Fiona. Raphael, oh my god, you're slow. Here. All right, there we go. Honestly, I don't remember how to get to Fiona. The hospital's looking better every time we come in here, though. I mean, that part's cool, I guess, right? Uh, okay. Um, where is everybody? <laughs> ah! So there's Cassandra. Why, hello. I guess it's not it's not who we gotta deal with right now then. Good idea, NCR. I mean I don't know what life would be like if I couldn't download some things every once in a while. My videos sure would suck. <laughs> There'll never be anything new in them. <laughs> okay, I guess we go up some more. Uh, good lord, where is that elevator? Oh, wow, do we go up some more? There's the elevator. Okay. Man, checking on Fiona when she's up about, you know, six floors or something is a lot. It's a lot. So close, guys. We're about to be able to ask Fiona what's up. I think. Okay. Boy, here we go. Hey, V. About that. You all right? What? Oh, yes. Lots to do, that's all. Did you end up going out there to meet the late caravan, or do I even need to ask? Super mutant ambush. I brought back what I could carry, but... I'm sure you did what you could. <laughs> I should say the game was rigged from the start. Let's hope Cersei comes through on this opportunity of hers. Let me guess, that's what Benny said? What? You planning to sleep sometime this month? No offense, but by the way you're swaying, I wouldn't let you so much as take my temperature right now. I'll make you a deal. I'll sleep when you put your gun down for two minutes. Your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, you are a hard Let's ass see your man. back safe. And I'm sorry to hear about the caravan. Besides the loss of lives, this won't make a convincing case that we're worth visiting out here. In any case, is there something I can help you with? Everybody said Maria was Benny's gun. I figure that must be one of his lines from the game. What's, What's next? next for you? I There's like something this. else that needs doing, but it requires traveling. Cersei is out on an interview, and I'd like you to back her up. No oh problem. Boy. I'd be glad to help. I'll mark the meeting spot on your map. Cersei will be waiting for you just outside. Stay okay. safe out there. Hey, that's cool. All right. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. We know what we got to do next. We've got to go back up Cersei. With a meet in a meeting with uh, I remember this, I, I did get this far last time. It's, it's some group, no some like investors change. group. It's it's some really well funded group that's willing to funnel us caps if we want to work with them or something. 
Um, but it's kind of a long quest. I remember lots of dialogue and stuff. So that means next time, next stream, that's when we'll do it. Okay? Because I got to go do some editing or, you know, so I, I have a video to show you guys. So thank you for hanging out. So glad to have you all here. Uh, NCR Ranger Goodman. If I find the right weapon, I will name it after you. And Z1, I will keep my promise for an automatron companion to be named after you as well. So there we go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Please like the video. The more of you like it, the, you know, the more people the algorithm will put it in front of and the more people we'll have here in the chat with us. So thank Diamond you all for City being here. Tomorrow I'll stream at the same time, and I hope to see you then. Doors on those who truly need it. it's not fair. Yeah, thanks, Z1. Okay. See you, everybody. I'm going to jump off. Oh, NCR Ranger Goodman, I appreciate that so, so much. All right, gang. Love you too, by the way. Marvin, hey. Well, tomorrow's video will be all about getting deeper into Chapter 2 of Some Settlements 2, and we will see you then, everybody.